NBA Youngboy vs. Fredo Bang, War in Baton Rouge. What happens when two rival Baton Rouge rappers plan to drop a new album on the same exact day? An Instagram beef, that's what. You a bitch, stop running from me. I ain't in no competition with you. Stop writing me, you a hope. Rapper NBA Youngboy, whose real name is Kentrell Galden, is from the south side of Baton Rouge, and specifically from the top side, as the top side and the bottom side are divided and ran by two gangs. The Top Boy Gorilla Gang, or TBG, run the top side, and the Bottom Boy Gorilla Gorilla Gang or BBG run the bottom. NBA Youngboy, whose name mean Youngboy never broke again, hung around fellow Baton Rouge rapper The Real G Money's younger brother when he was younger. The Real G Money's real name is Garrett Burton, and he helped lead the TVG label in the music game. NBA Youngboy, with dreams of becoming a rapper himself, naturally drifted toward The Real G Money, who was already making a name for himself in the rap game. It even got to the point where The Real G Money took NBA Youngboy in, let him live with him after his grandmother passed away. The breakout hit iPhone 6 helped to put the real G money on the map. The music video featured other members of the TBG, including NBA Youngboy. The song featured rappers YMM Captain, Boulevard Mail, and another up and coming fellow Baton Rouge rapper known as Fredo Bang. Fredo Bang's real name is Frederick Dewan Thomas Givens II. He raps with the TBG just like the real G money and NBA Youngboy. And at the time iPhone 6 was becoming a hit, things was cool. Then in 2016, Fredo Bang was arrested on attempted second degree murder charges and he served two years in jail. While Fredo Bang Bang was serving his time, things started to change for his old crew. NBA Youngboy, who was signed to the TBG record label, wasn't happy about his role. Yes, NBA Youngboy was putting out music, but he wasn't making the type of money he thought he deserved, all while the real G money was raking in the dough. So with this new mindset, NBA Youngboy branched off and started his own record label named after the acronym he already uses, NBA. Now under his new label, NBA Youngboy released the song 38 Baby, and this was the song that put NBA Youngboy on every everyone's radar. Around this time, things started to fall apart between NBA Youngboy and The Real G Money. The problems really started when The Real G Money started messing around with NBA Youngboy's sister. NBA Youngboy felt like his homie crossed the line. Even though The Real G Money said he really dug NBA Youngboy's sister, but then The Real G Money put out the song Industry, where the lyrics he wrote went after NBA Youngboy, including this verse. Your sister swallowed nuts, so I never kissed her, but I f with her, so I never dissed her. As you can tell, those lyrics were definitely directed toward NBA young boy and he in return was certainly not happy about it the two rappers started throwing shade at each other over instagram and eventually this led to one fateful night now before i get into this i want to clarify that there's no evidence that nba young boy was behind this crime it's all speculation so i'll let you decide it was an early sunday morning around 1 30 a.m september 10th 2017 the real g money was in the studio with a few of his boys rapping putting in that work after they got done in the parking lot the real g money was shot in the head and killed Burton was only 22 years old when he died, and his mother said he was just about to really get started in his music career. Ava Burton says she received a tremendous amount of support from his fans from around the country and the world. This news shocked the entire hip-hop community, especially the hip-hop community in Baton Rouge. An arrest in the case wouldn't come until June 2019. The murder suspect is a man by the name of DeAndre Fields, an associate of NBA Youngboy. Like I said, you can make your own assumptions on whether NBA Youngboy had any involvement with the murder comment down below and let me know your opinions no matter if he was involved or not either way wherever nba youngboy goes problems follow less than a month before deandre fields arrest nba youngboy was involved in a shootout out in front of the trump international hotel in miami nba youngboy's girlfriend was hitting the shoulder by the attack members of nba youngboy's group who were legally armed fired back which resulted in the killing of a bystander but that isn't all with nba youngboy stay tuned to find out what just recently happened here in march 2021 on March 22nd, NBA Youngboy was driving out in Los Angeles when police attempted to stop him. He did not. A short chase pursued, which resulted in a foot chase where NBA Youngboy was ultimately caught. He's now in FBI custody. This all resulted from an outstanding warrant for the rapper's arrest. He and 16 other people were arrested back in September on drug and firearm charges in Louisiana. Now, I know what you're thinking. The title to this video is NBA Youngboy vs. Fredo Bang, War in Baton Rouge. Yet, I've only mentioned Fredo Bang a few times. Stay tuned because with the backstory of NBA Youngboy vs. TBG out the way, I can get into the main topic of the video. You don't want to miss this. Okay, now let's discuss more about Fredo Bang. He is an up-and-coming rapper who has been making huge waves since 2018. Even before his arrest, people started to take notice to him thanks to his ability to flow, write lyrics, his confidence, and even his ability to sing. Fredo Bang is what they call a street corner superstar. He's become one of the biggest influences in what's called the drill rap subculture. Fredo Bang and the real G Money were extremely close, and Fredo Bang explained 
how the real G Money was waiting for him to get out of jail, excited about what they could do together. Music. Once out, Fredo Bang naturally was destroyed by the death of his friend. So destroyed, in fact, that he put out a song called Father in honor of the fallen rapper. Fredo Bang continues to honor the real G Money with songs like In G We Trust and In The Name Of G. In fact, he released an album in 2020 titled In The Name Of G. While Fredo Bang was honoring the real G Money, NBA Youngboy was constantly dissing Fredo Bang and the entire TBG group. Members of the NBA group and the BBG group were both putting out songs dissing members of the TBG and Fredo Bang himself so Fredo Bang and his boys clap back with songs of their own now with all of this information let's go back to the beginning where I asked the important question what happens when two rival Baton Rouge rappers plan to drop a new album on the same exact day if you remember the answer then why don't you hit the like and subscribe buttons if you don't remember don't stress about it I won't start no beef with you I'll just tell you the answer is of course start an Instagram beef that's what when NBA Youngboy announced on Instagram that his album top would be released on September 11 20 2020, he was unaware that Fredo Bang's album In The Name Of G was planned to be released on the same day. Fredo Bang went on Instagram and shared a post that read, Guess me and my son dropping together. He also put out two laughing emojis, I might add. This sprung NBA Youngboy into a fit of rage. He first responded in writing with a, I'ma catch you and bang your scary ass. Then he added two video posts saying, First, you a bum. You bitch ass nigga. You bitch. Stop running from me. I ain't even in competition with you. Stop writing me. You a ho. Then, in the second video, he finished by saying, I can fuck any bitch. I can fuck your mama. You a bitch. You a pure bitch. If you want to know Fredo Bang's response, then don't go anywhere. He went on Instagram and responded with his own video saying, Man, somebody go help little brother out, bro. He angry, dog. He angry. Talk about dead partners and shit. It ain't like I'm on this bitch talking about fat boy and that extra, extra large coffin he got. You heard me? Or Professor X. How you gotta push his half dead ass around? I'm not on this bitch talk about that. And that's not all. He continued with, all I said was, I'll sell more albums than your ass. You drop every time I fucking drop. Then he mad about a bitch. It ain't my fault all your bitches be in my DM. We shared two hoes. Now all of a sudden, I'm just fucking everybody you fuck. Stop playing, man. After that little back and forth, everything cooled down a bit. Fredo Bang's album was pushed back to the 25th of September, avoiding the same day release battle. Things have quieted down, and recently in an interview with 99 Gems in Miami, Fredo Bang was asked about the beef and replied, I ain't got no beef with him. It be social media. I feel like fans, they find it more entertaining for people to be into it than people to just be cool. I feel like a lot of that come from that. I wish him the best, he continued. Especially coming from where I come from. Like somebody else come from where I come from, make it. All that does is give me hope, like I could do it too. So I appreciate him for getting on and letting me know I could do it too. Let's hope everything stay cordial between these two and everyone else in the entire hip hop community. Because what we fans want isn't bloodshed, just good music. Don't you agree? If you do, why don't you comment down below? Also, comment with who you rock with, NBA Youngboy, Fredo Bang, or both. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching.